Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming at you with a tutorial on this look that I have on my face right now. Um, sorry I'm talking weird, I'm just in a mood. <clears throat> I'm really really excited about this look because it is with the brand new Kat Von D metal matte eyeshadow palette. I forgot the name of it even though it's written in big huge bold letters. So it says metal and it says matte. I think that's really really cool. Um, so yeah if you have never seen this palette here you go. Brand spanking new. I was really excited about this because it has a really good range of colors and I was really, really excited about the metal shade. I don't know if you can see that well because of my lashes, but when I close my eyes you can definitely see there's some metal action going on on my eyes. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. So first I'm going to take my Morphe M513 brush and take the shade Suede and apply it all over my lids as a transition shade. Next I'm going to take my Morphe M330 brush and take the shade Silk and apply it in the same area pretty much but more leaning towards the outer corner of my lid. And then I'm going to blend everything together using the first brush that I used for the transition shade. Next I'm going to take an old smudger brush from Coastal Scents and take the shade Silk and apply it to my bottom lash line. Next I'm going to go in with a small shader brush from the same Coastal Scents brush set and take Suede and Velvet and apply that to the bottom lash line as well just to add a little bit more definition. Next I'm going to take my Morphe E17 brush and take the shade Velvet and apply it to the outer V of the lid. And then again I'm taking the blending brush and blending everything back together. Now I'm going to go in with the metallic shade Volt and I'm going to take my finger and apply it, but I didn't really like the way it looked. Um, so I took my Morphe E10 brush, which is just a, I think it's a concealer brush, and I just applied it with that and it worked just as well. And then I took Twinkle and applied it over top of the shade Volt um, using the same brush just to add a little bit more shine. Then I'm going to go back in with Velvet and taking that same small shader brush that I was using earlier, I'm going to define the outer V once again. And again, I am blending. Next I'm going to take Glitz with the small shader brush again and apply it to my inner corners. Now I'm going to take the shadows Glitz and Bone and apply that to my brow bone. Um, I took those two because Glitz seemed a little too dark and then Bone was a little too light to use by itself so I mixed them together. And again we're blending because it seems like the two shades don't mix together very well so we're going to blend it to make it look more seamless. Now I'm going to line my eyes using the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm not going to make a wing, I'm just going to line the upper lash line. Now I'm applying my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in some sort of black shade. I don't really know all the different black shades, but it's black. I think it might be like blackest black or super black or, you know, you know how they name mascaras. Next I'm going to apply some lashes and I'm going to take my pretty little lashes in Adored and these ones are 100% silk. Um, if you want more information on these, I talked about them in my last video, so go check that out. And for my lips, I'm going to take my ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Stick in Cookie and this is a matte shade. And that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!